staying on top of. Right now, the House has adjourned. Still no Speaker of the House, but lawmakers will try again later tonight. After six attempts to secure the Speakership, Congressman Kevin McCarthy still does not have the votes he needs. Losing votes, actually one Republican lawmaker voting present in each round today. Right now, the House has adjourned until 8 p.m. Eastern. It's unclear how or when lawmakers will break this deadlock. Correspondent Kelly Meyer joins us live from Capitol Hill. Kelly, you have been keeping your eyes on all of this. Where do Republicans go from here? Well, at this hour, McCarthy's still hopeful that he could actually get the House speakership as well. Right now, as you said, adjourned until 8 p.m. Eastern, another two hours. And in that time, we're told Republicans are hunkering down and trying to figure out what they're going to do from here. One member telling us that they are saying that they need those never Kevins to come together, go back to the drawing board, and not come back until they have the votes to elect the next House speaker. Reading clerk will again call the roll. For a second day, a failure to launch after a fourth, McCarthy. then a fifth vote, and a sixth. Again and again, California Republican Kevin McCarthy fell short in his bid to become the next Speaker of the House. Rebellious members of his own party still refusing to support him, instead nominating a relative unknown. Today, I'm rising to nominate Byron Donalds for Speaker of the House of Representatives. McCarthy is now losing ground. Presence. Indiana's Victoria Sparts fed up with the public floor fight, voting present after backing McCarthy in the first three votes. Even with an added endorsement from former President Donald Trump, who posted, it's time to close the deal, adding, quote, Kevin McCarthy will do a good job and maybe even a great job. It's still not enough for the Republicans rebelling against McCarthy. The president needs to tell Kevin McCarthy that Sir, you do not have the votes, and it's time to withdraw. For McCarthy, another day huddling with allies on the floor and trying to twist arms behind closed doors. But what I see right now is energy, a tremendous amount of energy in this Republican caucus who want to do the work of the people. Until a speaker is elected, the House cannot meet, committees cannot hold hearings, members can't be sworn in even as their families wait to share the moment, as members elect tend to their kids. Today, President Biden weighing in on what folks on both sides of the aisle are calling a mess. I just think it's a little embarrassing it's taking so long in the way they're doing with one another. And the rest of the world looking. It's the most dramatic vote for speaker in 100 years, and tonight still no sign of when it will end. And truly no sign of when this may end, Nicole. You know, I was outside the chamber earlier today and folks were walking by and no one really knew what was going on or what was going to happen next. And at the end of the day, as you saw, this is only holding up regular business and holding up those members' families who flew in for this big moment. That moment now turning into a big mess. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.